Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Triangle Esports Championship. This is the quarterfinals of the Rocket League Playoffs Tournament. I'm Dazwin. Joined with me is JP. JP, right now we got Seb Mala versus Alpha Shot Esports. And man, what an already impressive tournament. It's looking like the matches are going to continue to grow. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking forward to some high offense for sure. Uh, I saw a lot of goals earlier, and I uh, hope it stays the same. Now, going into this one, it's looking like Seb Mala is going to have the edge in the matchup. But you definitely said you saw Alpha Shot Esports play in the preliminary quals. Uh, earlier last week, and you said they were looking very strong. Going yeah, they were. Yes, yeah. so I'm looking forward uh, to see them pull an upset, I guess, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, they were looking very good. Yeah, and the winner of this gets to face 20XX, who is our number one seeded uh, comp competitors playing today. That's going to be Sathew and Sharif playing, and it's going to be a tough matchup, but they got to get past this one first. And as soon as we get these guys ready to go, we'll have them up on your screen. But I want to talk about just kind of like the 2v2 and 3v3 metas. Like usually 3v3 is the standard of competition when right. it comes to these Rocket League tournaments, but now we have this 2v2 competition. And kind of tell me about how uh, the game changes up a bit when you get into those 2v2 game types. Well, for sure there's a lot more space, so uh, you're going to be able to make some passes that maybe yeah. you wouldn't be able to make 3v3. And uh, obviously the, the goals uh, come a little bit uh, easier, for sure. So Yeah, absolutely. Like I, I can completely agree with that. Just Again, you've got the entire field to work with. Boost management is something that you don't, it, it can hinder you if you get stuck in your own half, but it's much sure. easier to break out of yep. when you're in your own space as well. And then you also got to look at just all this room, like you said, just to move down the field, pass it to your teammates, and set up plays, because you only have to get past two defenders yep. versus the 3v3 set. So it's kind of, it's a mix between both ones and threes, obviously. Yep. <laughs> and then um, you have just, again, so much room to work with. It's, it gets very creative. There's a lot of mind game plays that yeah. can work, and um, there's just so much room for some awesome Rocket League. Yeah. And that's what I'm excited to get into. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of skill up ahead in these games. So. Yeah, and the team's got the green light to get into this one, and we're going to wait to get that one up right on your screen once they're able to jump in and join the game. Again, Alpha Shot Esports versus Sep Mala. This is going to be a best of three, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to come out and see who's on top. Teams are in. We're here on Manfield Night. And we got five minutes on the screen and the kickoff. And here we are a go. All right. Already we have Fearless sending that downfield. A nice pass off the back wall. Ooh. Malamente, a good save. We're going to see Sebastian here move this one up. Sent down to the midfield. Sebastian moving it into the blue corner, or the orange corner, I should say. Look at him, very aggressive Ooh, yeah. too on the ball. You got to be careful of that if you're playing on alpha shot at least, just because that aggression, those quick plays can definitely cost some goals for you. Yep, for sure. Here's Fearless, he's going to come in. Has to turn off that, Malamite has that ball. He's going to try to take this one up off the corner. Sit down in front. And already for the first minute or so mm. of this game, there's been a big uh, back and forth between just possession of these two teams. You see yep. the screen, he wants to take a quick oh, shot there, yeah. unable to. It seems a lot of teams are just, uh, for these two at least, are trying to figure out the pace of game as this yep. one gets underway. They're feeling out for sure, um, but I'm expecting uh, it to open up here in just a moment. As we see Fearless, nice pop up. He's going to take this one into the corner. Malamite off the back wall. It's going to be a miss by him, so Sebastian has to cover up and save him going to send it back to the midfield. Midfield control in twos is very important too because it starts applying that offensive pressure once you're able to get it into your opponent's box. Right now, uh, Alpha Shot Esports, so to speak, they have it stuck into the blue end. Set Mala, they need to be able to clear this ball out of their zone. Yeah. There's a big mistake here. The Mala Mitte has to be careful. Oh. Fearless going for the dunk, but can't get the first goal. Man, that was close. Here's Fearless. Ooh. Looking to see if he can make another play. Can't do it. Now Discreet coming out with a big oh. shot. It's far down and oh, in. That and the first beauty. goal goes to Alpha Shot. What a beautiful shot that was. I mean, reads the play right and uh, great shot right off the post down. Yeah, and you can see Sebastian too. He's in the net and yep. he doesn't necessarily even go for a challenge. He could probably clear this out, but he yep. believes that Discreet has that one all day. It's a good shot, goes right in. 
And again, first goal goes to Alpha Shot. Now they're going to start applying some more offensive pressure. We see them in the corner here. A quick shot, oh. but a, not going to be able to go in. They committed two guys, so a counterattack yeah. could happen. Malamite sends this one all the way back downfield, but it's just cleared away in time. And yeah, that was dealt with nicely there. And uh, Chance here. Chance in front, but this one's going to get cleared away by Sebastian. He's going to move downfield. Malamite shadowing, but uh. he is able to get a shot off. First goal by Seb Mala score, and we're tied up with 250 yeah, left. Yeah, that, that was a smart play there, too, reading the uh, the push there and just finds an open space and ch chips it right over the goalie there. Yeah, you see Discreet go up. He wants to be able to make a solid challenge yeah. on that ball, but unfortunately, just because of how out of position he is and he's facing his own net, it's a tough save to make. Yeah, for sure, and uh, I will say that was a really nice goal there. So here we are. 243 now left on the clock. Tie game here. It's only game number one. And this one's going to go on the sidewall. Fearless looking to see if he can put that on target. Malamente with a good save. Oh. Sebastian with a demo downfield. We're going to see if they can look in this 2v1 situation. Can't do it. Sebastian going to opt to pop a shot in front. You know, that was a pretty good effort, though, with the demo. I mean, uh, it's a good strategy when it works. Absolutely. Just being able to get those infield demos to throw off the defense. But it looks like <gasps> they got thrown off a big miss, though. Coming out for Alpha Shot, it's going to go the other way. Yeah. Sebastian with control of the ball, not able to get it past the screen. And you know, Fearless is going to send this to the side. Uh, I like how they got back, though, after that miss. Uh, you know, that was uh, definitely a chance. But we'll see how it goes going forward. Yeah, we'll see here, Sebastian. Sending it to the screen, gets up possession. Malamente trying to pass it to his teammate. Oh, a shot, pass. but not able to get the redirect. So this is going to go off of Alpha Shot's back wall. Popped up in front. There's Sebastian. Discreet meeting it in the midfield. You know, both teams have had a lot of chances so far. Um, be interesting to see uh, who can capitalize more. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, we definitely have at least four saves yep. coming out from Seb Mala, just from the alpha shot pressure. There's been a lot of offensive chances, but yeah. it's been met with solid saves, too. A lot True. of teams have opened up the net, but they have not been able to capitalize yep. uh, in terms of really knocking down those shots. So right now, again, still tied, one to one. A minute and 10 seconds left. Here's Alpha Shot now, bringing this ball downfield. Malamente can't get it past Fearless. Discreet coming up, he wants to read this off the wall, gets it off the backboard, but it's gonna be a slow floater. The Fearless gonna try to find oh, his teammate. That's in front, a straight. good shot, and Discreet's able to knock it in. Alpha Shot Esports take the lead. That is such a great pass there. I mean, right, right to him, and he just can't miss from there. Nah, absolutely. I mean, it's a good shot in front, and then you have the defender in net, but he's able to shoot it past him, too, just from getting to the ball so quick. And you got to give credit to Fearless, too. It's a great yeah, pass. That was a great pass, for sure. So now with 52 seconds left, Seb Mala need a goal to be able to at least tie this up. Here's Malamente. He loses the challenge. Fearless, though. Oh. Is that going to be on net? It is. And, boy, they are looking to run away with this game. 3-1 to one to score line. Alpha shot with the lead. Again, another great pass there. How about that? Yeah. And it is three to one here with 43 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it's a very solid pass as well, like you said, and it's a good redirect too. Yeah, well, for sure. those breakaway plays downfield are going to be so important as this tournament gets uh, more and more closer to top competition. Yep. That's the type of plays we expect to see. Now here we go, another shot chance for Sebastian, but it's going to be knocked out by Fearless. Here's the screen. He's going to wait for this one. A good clear. Nice that read. was a solid pass play, but it's going to go the other way. Can the screw catch up to that one? Yes, he can. Wow. Alpha shot. 4-1, 23 seconds left. And you know, Discreet read that, and uh, he finished it. That was just such a great read there, and also really smart of him to follow that up as well. Yeah, exactly. It's a good follow-up. He catches the defense. They know that they're going to go for a strong offensive play. They're down by two, and he sees that, plays a patient in front of his net, and then punishes on his way to uh, make sure to get that goal. So 17 seconds left in this game, number one. Yeah, it'll take a miracle at this point, but uh, you never know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, I have seen goals like that yeah. score before. I mean, we I got mean, one here right from there, Sebastian yeah. to soften the blow here. We got six seconds left on the clock, but this is a good way to at least kind of get those nerves out yep. in this first game. Still a lot to be played here. Obviously, it's uh, best of three, so I mean, by no means is it over with this game. Um, and that was a really nice shot there, so. Another kickoff, that's gonna go back in midfield. And the screen taking the boost, gonna slow down the play. Once this ball hits the ground, it's gonna be Alpha Shot being the game one winners.
But uh, you definitely saw Seb Mala start to come back into yeah. that one as, you know, they start to get more and more warmed up. So I'm expecting a different scoreline for game number two. Yep. But still, Alpha Shad Esports, very strong in that one. That's 11 shots by them, four goals scored, and then two assists also as well. Just shows how much offensive pressure they had on the field as well as just how Locke and Seb Mala were to their own end. They got to be able to get comfortable and then also bring that ball out to set up more things on offense. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a feeling up process in the beginning of this game and uh, it definitely opened up there at the end and I'm really excited for game number two here. Yeah, exactly. And uh, as well as, you know, there's also something with like these players being able to like, some of these guys, their first live competition, yeah. you know? So when you're playing on stage in front of everyone watching, there's a little nerves that come into yeah. that. And it's good to uh, one get those games out the way, get a little bit more comfortable, cool off, and then get ready for the next one. We'll see if they can make those adjustments as we get ready to get into Yeah, for sure. Here. Now, for Seth Mala, things I would love to see, just again, a little bit more aggression towards the ball, being more comfortable into their own zone, as well as not committing too much on those offensive plays, because they got punished for that in game number one. You saw yeah. that goal for the streak. He was able to completely read the pass play and then knock it away. And you can already see a shaky start here for Seth Mala going in. Sebastian, he's going to be able to flick this one downfield. It's going to go into the corner. Here's Fearless. And he's got control of it here, too. Yep, going for a pass for discreet. He's going to send this one all the way into the corner. Malamente, a good fake, but he has no boost going downfield. Yeah. Trying to get bumped out the way. Discreet comes up to make a challenge. Sent back in the midfield. This one's going to get left out for someone to come take a challenge in the midfield. This could go the way of Seb Mala. Uh, that was very, very well dealt with there. Here's Fearless. Malamente, good challenge out in front. Sitting it to the corner. So far, again, no goal scored in the first minute, which is fair and showing just how well Seb Mala have improved on defense, as well as in bringing it down the field. But I have noticed that they have been making a lot of offensive pushes with zero boost. That could come back on them, JP. Yeah, it definitely could. Um, you know, they've actually been playing very good defense right so far, and uh, but they need to get some boost going forward if they're going to create any chances. Yeah, you definitely need to have solid boost control. And that seems like something Alpha Shy Esports are doing very yes. well as they get more and more comfortable into this game. There's a big demo Ooh. in front. Fearless looking for a redirect. Sebastian uh -huh. able to make a good save out in front. And Malamente is going to clear it away. Yeah, that was a great defensive play there, reading the play, making sure that the, nothing was there for him. And I'm liking the offensive pressure I'm seeing from Seb Mala into this game number two. It's a lot better than it was in game one. Just getting to that ball down in front, being able to knock away some good plays. But, I mean, alpha shot, a lot of offensive pressure. They have control of the boost, for so to speak. I haven't seen them without boost at all in this game. Yeah. And then they're able to get these shot chances. They just haven't been able to find the net, and they oh. finally find one. The street scoring the first goal in game number two. What a great shot that was. Uh, reads the play there and just has just enough boost to get it in uh, right inside the frame of the net. So... 1-0 here with three minutes left. Yeah, I mean, like you said, three minutes is left, right? Yeah, Still plenty, plenty of game plenty time. time. Plenty of game time in Rocket League. Definitely could see the scoreline start to open up as the game progresses on. But right now, another demo coming in from Alpha Shot. Oh, wait, are they actually going to try to go for this? Oh. Fearless going off of <laughs> the ceiling. We're going to see whether or not they can be punished for that. Malamente bringing this ball downfield. It's oh, out in front. He's man. going for the shot, and yeah. he gets it. And they got a little too comfortable on offense. Yep. And Seb Mala here with a strong punish. That was very audacious from Alpha Shot going for that opportunity. It led to a break. And uh, man, they finished that. Yeah, they, like I said, they got a little too comfortable. I saw, uh, I think it was Fearless going off the uh, off the ceiling. And you think, okay, I get it. It's in the name, Fearless, right? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, you got to watch out for punishes like that. I mean, we're, we're approaching the halfway point of this one. 2.40 left on the clock. And right now, Alpha shot. Uh, they're bringing this ball downfield. They had the lead, but they threw it away. Going for some impressive offensive plays. They're trying to impress for us. You know, they're trying to make the, yeah. the stream look good. Like you said, that was pretty fearless there. Oh, speaking oh. of which, he's able to get that one wow. in. A great solo play coming out from Fearless. You got to see it yeah. again just to look at it. He takes this one, plays it slow. See Sebastian, gets him with the fake, and is able to pop it up in front of him. Man, Malamante was so close to saving that, but Fearless just able to find the back of the net there. And you can tell at least 20XX in the audience right now definitely watching this matchup. They'll end up playing the winners of this one next. 
Yeah. Looking at Alpha Shot right now. Definitely an aggressive team. Definitely comfortable playing off the ceiling. Oh, a good demo from Sebastian. See what they can make of it. Can't make anything of it as this one's going to go back downfield. Discreet trying to send this in front. Fearless is up. He's looking oh. for the shot. Can't find it. That was very well played by Sebastian there to block off that pass. See Malamente very low on the boost. Oh, oh the, nice little touch there. See what they can do in terms of just being able to bring this one back up. Fearless. He's going to leave this one. Sebastian thought he had a clear mm. shot. Did not, unfortunately. Malamente still trying to bring this ball out in front for Sebastian, but he can't find it. The defensive alpha shot is very strong still as they move downfield. A pass in front. Fearless can't get the shot. Sebastian with a good save. Yeah, I really like the Alpha Shots transition game from defense to offense. I think mm -hmm. that's been a really big uh, key for them uh, to have this lead so far. Absolutely, as right now, Seb Mala just trying to see if they can fight their way back into this one. Again, like you said, it's a best of three, but they're down by game one. They need to win game number two, but oh no, a double oh. commit. That's going to be punished. Yeah. It's going to go all the way downfield. And of course, who else but discreet to be able to send that one into the net? Yeah, a little bit of a mis uh, miscommunication there from, uh, well, I think it was uh, Malamente, I think. Uh, but either way, discreet finishes it off, and it is now 3-1 to one with a minute left in the game. Still enough time, but they're going to really need to open up here and get some chances. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's time to pull out all the stops. Yep. If you are set Mala, at least. They've had, they've had a very hard time really just being able to bring the ball to Alpha Shot Zone, let alone set up a pass play. Yep. There's a big miss from Sebastian. Malamente trying to come and at least take control of this one. Fearless gets a pass. Want to pop up. Discreet's going for the shot, but can't get it. It's oh. still down in front. Can he save oh. it? He can't do it. So Malamente... You got to dribble this one downfield, looking for the dunk, but Fearless, he's just trying to run out the clock at this point. 30 seconds remain, discreet, oh. and he's going to find the back of the net again. Dang, wow. Four to one, 25 seconds left, and it's looking like Alpha Shot are going to be the winners here. Yeah, that might be the brutal blow there. Discreet just able to sneak it in, and it is now four to one with 25 seconds left on the clock. And they've been in this position before. We have seen them score a goal and within this time slot, yep. but you got to score three back to back. And that's where it gets rough, right? Being yeah. Just being down from such a large deficit. But again, we have seen comebacks like this happen before. It's just very, very rare at this point. But here's Sebastian. He's going to lose possession. No he boost goes. there. That was going to get sent back all the way down the back wall. Time ticking down. Alpha Shot looking for a final goal. Oh. <laughs> Not going to get that one. And Alpha uh. Shot Esports are going to move on to the semifinals to play 20XX. Well, Alpha Shot really played well there. Both games, a uh, little bit of a feeling out process in the first game, but they came out all guns blazing in the second one. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, Alpha Shot, they're looking very strong, but they're going to face a completely different beast yeah. in that semi semifinal round. That's not going to be the one we'll have for you guys. We'll have a different match coming up on stream. But guys, we're going to take a short break as we get ready to set up that next match. So guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back on Bull City GG.
Welcome back to the Triangle Esports Championship in the Durham Armory. I'm Dash. Join with me again is JP. JP, we have our semifinal matchup getting ready to get started. UNC Charlotte versus Adblock Plus going into this one. And, I mean, we looked at the roster a little bit beforehand. Yeah. We got to see these guys, and we already know this is going to be a pretty stacked match. Yeah, this is going to be a great, great matchup. Obviously, this is a best of five, so we can look forward to that. A lot of action here to be played and some very high offense, I, I presume, will be coming. Yeah, for uh, those who don't know, UNC Charlotte is a uh, collegiate Rocket League team. 
and for those guys coming into this one, they were four and three in league play. So these guys have had a lot of time to play together. Yeah. Going against uh, Ludacris and Arrow on Ad Block Plus is going to be a challenge for them as well. As we already have game number one on your screen. We're here at the kickoff. You can already tell this one's looking a lot faster yeah. than uh, the previous series that we've seen. Again, these guys had a lot of experience playing Rocket League. If I already had a pass out in front. Gets cleared our way by Arrow. Ludacris going to move this downfield. A pass play to Arrow. Can he get the redirect? This is oh. a solid one. That's how you open up the semifinals. First wow. goal going to Ad Block Plus. What a great goal this is. A great redirect here. Just reads the play perfectly. Sykes tries to read it. Honestly, he, he plays it pretty much right, but it's just a great shot there. Yeah, I mean, if you had some time and you haven't been playing, that's not the type of shot you expect in the first 15 no, seconds. No, not for sure. <laughs> so it's already just being opened up very well here. For UNC Charlotte, they know what kind of series this is. It's a good shot from Sykes. Arrow making a great save. Do we send in this one back down in front? But Arrow going to send it to Ludacris. Booming oh. it off that side wall. It's going to go off the backboard. Deweese knows oh. he has to clear it away. Yeah. Again, this one's going to be a lot faster pace. There's going to be uh, so many different challenges that you're going to see. And again, something that's different from that last match we saw, these guys take advantage of those rooms for opportunities. Yeah, for sure. They definitely make sure that they're going to knock down these shots. So a big miss like we just seen from Sykes, that's going to be one. You see how he has to play it very close to himself. Yeah. Arrow almost got a shot off, but now Deweese is going to come through and clear this away. Yeah, that definitely nearly cost him there, but uh, they ended up making the right play, clearing it out. Well, almost. Let's see if they can get it out fully here. Here's Ludacris. He's going to take this one up. Can't get it past Sykes. Ludacris tried to go for a demo on Deweese, but he couldn't do it. Now Sykes trying to move this ball downfield. It's into the orange corner. Add block plus. Clearing this one downfield. We're seeing them move on the offense now down in front, but not enough to get to Ludacris. Sykes is going to clear it away. It's been pre pretty fast pace here for the first minute and a half or so. Yeah, like barely any feeling out process here. They were went right at it, right off the face off. And oh man, that's a big miss in front. I guess oh. he's going to put it in. Sykes with the drop in from Dewis. You might be able to hear him on the stream. Yeah. These guys are getting hyped up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, great little read here. Uh, great pass, and uh, Sykes tucks it in. 1-1. Yeah. Also, there's a bit of a mistake on defense. That miss clear obviously yep. opens the net wide up. And those are one of the things we talk about when we talk about 2v2 Rocket League, just how important those small mistakes are because they yeah. can get capitalized on very quickly. Yep, for sure. One little mistake can cost you very much. Here's Ludacris, going to drive this one to the corner. Dewis, though, he's going to take this one, trying to just bring this pass to add block plus defense. I'll sit off to the side. That's down in front. Sykes is up. There's oh. a shot, but arrow. Good for, save by him. Yeah, for sure. That was a great, great save. Here's Sykes now. Seeing if he can play it slow. Can't get past arrow. This ball's going to move back down into the midfield. Do is doing a good job, but here's the last one back. He has to challenge because Sykes got demoed in the back. The arrow, he's demoed both members <laughs> of uh, UNC Charlotte. Yeah, that was a great demo there, honestly. That was well timed. Regardless of that, UNC Charlotte still cannot take the lead. We're at the halfway point. The score line is one to one. And although Ablock Plus had a very strong opening, oh, he oh. tried to go for the bump there. We saw it, not able to actually get a goal from that one. Yeah. But although. Uh, at Block Plus with a strong opening. They just not have not been able to keep that as we see UNC Charlotte take the lead off of this play. Yeah, uh, really close chance on one end, and then they and they just come back and score. Arrow almost gets there, but just not enough. And now we see at Block Plus down by one, 2.16 left on the clock. Still plenty of work for them to do if they want to get back into this one. Again, a strong start for them, but they've let things slip as you see UNC Charlotte just getting more and more comfortable. Yeah, UNC really uh, settling in here. Yeah, you can tell just how comfortable they are. Great pass there to Sykes. Sykes going to wait for Arrow's touch. He's going to opt to leave it to Dewis, who's going to push this one off the backboard. Ludacris is there, and it's a smart clear by him just to make sure Dewis doesn't get possession of the ball. Now Arrow going to send it over to the corner. Trying to see if he can get it to Ludacris. Can't do it. So now Sykes with this one on his hood. Oh, he gets a fake pass oh. to Chris. Can he find his teammate Do it's, it's a pass, but it's just too high. Chance great. for them to make it to three goals, can't do it. Yeah, that was a great move. It didn't end up working out, but got to respect the move there. Yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, JP, if you're looking at uh, Ad Block Plus down by one, a lot of pressure on them. What do they have to do to necessarily get back into this game? Well, they got to get their transition going. It seems like every time they try to get past half line, they're getting stuffed back in. 
So I feel like if they can break that, they might be able to get some offense generating here. And boy, have they had trouble. Oh, off the post and right in front of Sykes. He's going to put that in. Three to one. UNC Charlotte with the lead. Yeah, just what I was saying. They didn't get it past the half line. It hits off the post and Sykes tucks it in for a 3-1 lead. And well, yeah, I mean, that midfield control. Being able to control the ball in the middle of the field and then it starts to slowly apply pressure to the opposing team. Yeah. I mean, when you keep that possession up and you keep putting the ball literally in front of their goal line, those mistakes are going to happen, and they lead to goals. Yep. We'll see whether or not Adblock Plus can come back here in the last minute. He's trying to get a cheeky chip goal going Ooh. in but can't do it. Yeah. Here's Ludacris, a big miss, and Dewis is just going to roll that one all the way in. And we see another four to one score line. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, UNC Charlotte, they're, they're pretty on fire in terms of this point. For sure. That was a, a nice little play there and just they weren't back and it's a four to one lead here with 51 seconds left on the clock. So I mean, add block plus, we saw how they look in terms of the first 15 seconds of the game. Yeah. But unfortunately, they, they, they stopped blocking stuff. Yeah. Uh, they can block ads, but they can't block the ball, unfortunately. <laughs> UNC really settled into this game and they, they got their offense going, so. Now we see Arrow able to get a save. Told me to shut up. Ludacris now with this one on it. See if he can get it down in front. Sykes trying to stop that offense. Ludacris with a quick shot. Oh. He's able to get one back in. 30 seconds remaining. That Don't was call a it a comeback just yet. <laughs> For sure. There's plenty of time on the clock, but that was a great pass by Arrow. And uh, Ludacris able to tap it in. Deweese really close there, though, I will say. Yeah, yeah, very close. Uh, just a small miss. And, I mean, yeah. we talk about just – how close some of these chances are going to be moving forward into the, uh, the rest of the tournament. We're going to see a little bit more of those. Here, Sykes with a quick shot, able to get cleared away. Dewis is just going to keep possession. They got 20 seconds to burn. Yeah. It's all whether or not they can stop Adblock Plus on the offense. Sykes says he can. Uh, the arrow, a nice flick downfield. Ludacris is trying to make sure that it doesn't get sent back into his end. This is great by Adblock Plus, but we needed to see this a little bit earlier on yeah. in this game one. For sure. If they had gotten this going just a little bit earlier, they might find themselves in a little bit of a better situation. Yeah, and UNC Charlotte going to be the winners of game number one. Four to two is the scoreline. Although when this first series had started, it looked like UNC Charlotte, uh, it, it looked like it was going to be close, right? Yeah. UNC Charlotte went down. It was a very impressive pass play from ABP Esports, but it just seemed like they dropped it. And do you think that has to do with UNC Charlotte kind of getting comfortable and getting set in, or did uh, Adblock Plus just drop the ball? I think for sure UNC definitely settled into the game after the beginning. Um, but ABP, credit to them, they didn't give up in the end. They did have a little bit of a push there, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in game two. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at the shot totals right now. Nine shots to five. Yeah. Nine being on the UNC part. And that just only goes to show just how much offense that they had. I yeah. mean, if you look for the majority of the game, UNC Charlotte just kept applying pressure and kept the ball on ABP's side of the field yep. to the point where, although, like you said, you thought they needed to work on their transitions, when they did get transitions off, since they hadn't been set up on offense, yep. it was just a transition happens, they get an opportunity, doesn't go in because it gets blocked by the defense, and then yep. it goes completely away. Yep. So now we're going to move into game number two, and we're going to see whether or not these guys can make those adjustments. I mean, what are you expecting out of this one? Well, I definitely expect uh, a lot better game by ABP. I think they're going to learn their lesson, hopefully, from game number one, and uh, we'll see what happens. We definitely will as we get right into this one. Here's Ludacris popped up. Oh, he's able to get past one, but Sykes able to make that save, stopping like, the pressure. I like that start, though, by ABP. Definitely a, definitely a nice start there. They definitely have had nice starts for sure. It's just about when the game kind of gets underway. And UNC Charlotte can get really set up. That's when you start seeing some magic happen. Here's Dewis struggling to keep possession. Ludacris now going to come off the ceiling. A good pass in front. Arrow going to play this off the corner. Back into the midfield. Ludacris trying to keep possession, but Sykes is going to knock it away. Looking to see if he can find Dewis in the midfield. The ball is in midfield. Dewis now just going to try to play. It doesn't want to lose that possession to Arrow, but Arrow going to opt here. I mean, we've seen back and forth possession changes. This one's going to go off the backboard. Solid clear from Ludacris. First minute of the game gone by. Both teams are holding firm on their defense. Yeah, defensively, it seems a lot tighter than game one. Um, seems to be a little bit harder to get anything offensively going with some great saves like that. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Here's Ludacris. Dewis able to stop him. Arrow. That ball's going to go. It's a Sykes possession. 
nice job there, I want to say, from Arrow, just being able to get to that extra touch. It throws off Sykes, who now has no boost, but he's able to win the challenge and move this one downfield. Yeah, dangerous situation here, but Arrow deals with it very nicely there. 3.30 left on the clock. Game is still scoreless. Arrow, a solid oh. redirect. Is that on target? No, it's off the bar. Arrow with another touch off the bar again, but Ludacris down in oh. front, cleared out by Sykes. Wow. A close chance gone by the wayside as we almost saw Adblock Plus come out with the first goal. Well, that was a lot of action there. Post, great save. And uh, if you're AVP, you got to feel a little bit robbed there. Yeah, just barely. They really wanted that one. A lot of shots back and forth, but still unable to find the net. Here we have UNC Charlotte keeping that possession, so to speak, on ABP's end. They got to be careful. That was a close shot opportunity that we saw from ABP a little bit earlier. They're looking for another one. That's oh. two fakes, but Sykes gets the bump out the way. Not going to be punished for that one. He's going to pick up this corner boost, send this one downfield. A big challenge in the midfield. He's going to go to his end. Ludacris trying to capitalize on the miscommunication, oh, but still cannot get through the UNC Charlotte defense. They're holding firm right now. Yeah, for sure. Here's Dewis. Got to give credit, though, to UNC. They're keeping with it defensively, even though there's been some quality chances. They're not giving up on it. So close. So close was the opportunity. Here's Sykes trying to keep it up. He knows Arrow's going to be able to knock it back, so he's going to wait here for this ball. Challenge between him and Ludacris goes his way. Now Dewis can come up, see what he can do. Arrow on the challenge and loses it. And now this is going to get sent back and forth. Both teams just trying to see if they can make the other make a crucial mistake. But everyone's held firm. Yeah, for sure. They're trying not to make a mistake on their own to lead to a counterattack. Good shot from Sykes, but an easy save for Ludacris to make. Ball moving downfield. Sit up high. Here's Ludacris with a touch. Arrow trying to come up and just throw off Dewis. Doesn't want that ball going the other way. A pass downfield. Ludacris able to cut it off. If Dewis would have had that touch, that redirect would have gone on net. Yeah. Here's Ludacris on the dribble, wanted to oh. get a flick over one, tried to see if he could bump Sykes, can't do it, but it opens up the net for Arrow to get the first goal in this game, and what a big goal it is. With 127 left, we finally get one on the board. Yeah, you felt something was coming. You didn't know who it was going to be for, but, you know, Arrow gets a goal there, and it's 1-0 with 127 left on the clock. Now for UNC Charlotte, they won the last game 4-1, to one, but this time unable to score. Yeah, ABP definitely uh, cleaned up their defense a bit there, and uh, they're not giving them as many quality chances as game one. Definitely seem more comfortable in terms of this one. But the demo comes out. <clears throat> Dewis moves a little bit forward. He is coming here for a shot. Can he get the fleet reset? Cannot do it. So Luke Chris, he's going to win that one, sending it back downfield. Arrow, no boost, but he can still try to set up Ludacris. Ludacris now wants to play this one off the back wall, looking for a dunk on Dewis. Can't get it. Arrow rotates in. Still trying to send it in front. A good clear from Sykes, but that does not stop the pressure from Adblock. Yeah, good good pressure there. Created a couple chances, but uh, UNC dealt with it pretty well there. Here's Lewis sending it to front here. Sykes, he's looking for the redirect. A good pop-up by him, but the team can't do anything else with that ball, so they wait for Ludacris off the backboard, but no one's there. 30 seconds left. And UNC Charlotte, they really got to turn up the offense here yeah. because they can constantly set this ball up in front. But if no one's there to take the shot, they're not going to score. Exactly. Here's Dewis now with the ball. Looking to see if he can find Sykes in the midfield. Sykes is waiting for this one to go the other way. He has a shot opportunity, though, from oh. the misplay on the back wall. Yep. Able to tie this one up with 11 seconds left. As you said, just a little bit of a misplay there, and uh, Sykes is going to clean it up there. Tie it with 11 seconds left on the clock. Here we go. 11 seconds left. We could possibly be seeing an overtime here in game number two. Goes off based off this kickoff. Here's Dewis. Time is ticking down. Ludacris. This one's going to get spiked down into the ABP in, and... If this one hits the ground, it's going to go into OT. Right now, it's going to go off the back wall. Ludacris trying to get a clear. Do is keeping, keeping it up in the line. air. Arrow going to send it off to the side. Do they want OT? They're going to have to deal with it anyways. Game two, overtime. Wow. And very different from the 4-1 game one that we just saw. Yeah, for sure. That This has been a great game so far. 
And here's Sykes. Oh no, a big mistake, and he's punished for it immediately wow. by Ludacris. You cannot afford to let this happen on the back wall. You see Sykes going for the boost. He's able to, he wants to get a big clear, but the ball goes just under his octane, back down in front, and then Ludacris scores the goal, tying up the series one to one as ABP Esports takes that game. Yeah, great play there by Ludacris to follow that up. And now we're going to see just how much they had. I mean, again, this is a big win. It's kind of although the shot totals here reversed, nine shots from ABP Esports, and then only four for UNC Charlotte. They didn't have as much room to work with on offense in game number two as they did in game one. You could tell Adbok Plus really stepped up, really applied a lot more pressure onto the ball. It caused some mistakes from UNC, and we saw just like in that overtime goal, those small mistakes mean so much. Yeah, especially when you're 2v2, just a little mistake. Yeah, I mean, so deadly. you don't have that third man to cover up for you when you're playing like 3v3s. So it, it's a little bit more pressure when you're back on your own end. And a small mistake like that, even off the kickoff, can yeah. cause a goal. So, And Move. credit to ABP, though, for playing a really good game, too, there. Yeah, for sure, especially. And then we're going to get into game number three in just a moment. And as soon as we get into that one, I mean, you got to think, though, UNC Charlotte, not the game that they wanted. They definitely wanted to see whether or not they could really just put some more pressure on onto the ball versus also just getting that offensive started. But they couldn't do it mainly just because of the aggression that we saw from ABP. So my question to you is, if you're UNC Charlotte, what do you got to do to kind of get back into this? Well, you want to go back a little bit to game one when they had all those chances. You want to, I feel like they didn't quite get the pressure they were looking for. Oh, an unfortunate all goal there yeah. by Dewis. Ludacris doing a good job of just bringing this one downfield. Although he can't get the pinch in front, he's able to just pass it forward and do it on the rotation back, panics, and makes a poor touch, ends up on goaling. And now ADP, they start off with a one-goal cushion. Yeah, if you're UNC, you just want to put that one behind you. You want to get that one back quick. Well, they, they put something behind them. It was the ball, yeah, unfortunately for them. They're going to be down by two. Now, again, another kickoff goal not going their way. Arrow, he cheats up on this one where Sykes goes for the boost. And by the time you realize that the ball's already on his way into the net. Yeah, it's just a little too late there. Now we're going to see how important these kickoff goals are as we get into this one. Game number three, the series tied one to one. Here's Dewis with the ball down in front. That's going to be a big one going the other way. Ludacris looking to see if he can get the pinch down in front. He does, but that one's really high. <laughs> Arrow's going to lose control of that one. We're going to see what Dewis can do. Off the corner. Looking for the redirect. What a quick shot, oh. but just off target. Yeah, that was a really close one there. Here's Ludacris. Able to win the challenge, and boy, are they running away early on this one. 3-0 to zero with 4-12 left. Yeah, ABP making the most of every opportunity. Ludacris is just going to win the 50-50 there and get the goal 3-0 now with 4-12 left on the clock. So now you got to your UNC Charlotte. This is a tough one. Yeah. A very, a very tough way to start this game off. But, you know, there's still four minutes left in the game. So, you know, if they can score three in a minute, why can't they? Absolutely. And they've scored four goals on ABP before. That was the game number one score yeah. line. It seems as though this series is starting to slip away from these guys. But we'll see whether or not. I mean, you got to look at ABP, though. They are turning it up right now. A lot of pressure on the ball. Winning some good challenges as well. And then, on top of that, just some great setups. They're making UNC Charlotte look uncomfortable. As you see Dewis bringing this ball downfield, he's just going for challenges. Not necessarily sure whether or not someone from ABP is actually touching the ball. And that goes to show just how big the mind games are in this series. Yeah, unlike in game one where uh, UNC just really had everything going their way to make t uh, plays and everything, uh, ABP is really shutting that down this game. Yeah, and I mean, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Here's a good one from Sykes here. Arrow trying to get the clear out in front. Sykes picks it up and then a dunk on Ludacris yeah. as he's trying to attempt to make the save. It's a fantastic solo play by him, and that's what UNC Charlotte need to get back into this game. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant by Sykes there. And just, as you said, they're right back in it now. There's plenty of time left on the clock. So we'll see whether or not Sykes can transition that momentum into a couple of more goals. Like you said, 3-13 here on the clock. As this one's going to get boomed all the way back downfield. It's off the sidewall, or the back wall, I should say. This one's going to go off the sidewall from Dewis. He's going to try to see if he can apply more pressure. Can't, though. As Ludacris with an impressive turnaround. Here's Arrow. A good win on the play. Can Ludacris get the redirect? It's just off target, and Sykes gets enough time to come back into that one. Dewis, oh. though, 
He saw an open opportunity. Yeah. That's going off the backboard. Arrow can't get a touch. And Duas' pass is off target. This one's going to go the other way. I would say there's a pretty good half chance there to make it 3-2. Yeah, we'll see whether or not Duas can do it again. He's going to be able to miss on this one. Ludacris with the pop-up. Sykes looking for another dunk. Can't get it. And Arrow going to be able to clear this one away from the danger. Here's a boomer. Oh, there's Sykes with the redirect. Oh, it's just off target. Ludacris looking to take control. Sykes wants to go in for a demo. Duas with a pass, or a touch, I should say, off of the pass interception. Here's Arrow, and that's going to be a redirect yeah. downfield off the transition. We saw UNC Charlotte with a lot of open pressure, but now off that counterattack, the momentum seems to be fading. Yeah, when you have to push so high, you're going to leave some stuff open in the back, and uh, ABP just took advantage of that arrow with a great shot there. Two minutes and eight seconds left. And the way this series has uh, transpired, we started off 4-1 to one UNC Charlotte. Now they're down 4-1. Yeah. to one based on just how well Adblock Plus has been able to turn this around. They had a rough start early on, but now looking to see them take the lead here in the series. Sykes, though, might have something to say about it. Can he get this one in front? He is oh. able to force it in. Yes. And Sykes coming alive again. He does it all by himself. Yeah, that was a great power move there by Sykes. Just relentless there. Waits so patiently and just finds enough room inside the post to tuck it in to make it two to four. Now with 145 left, we'll see whether or not Sykes, again, still down by two, wants to see if he can bring this game back for his team. Want to see more from Dewis coming into this one. He's done very well with three shots of his own, but want to see some more passes in transition. Right now, Sykes looks like the shooter, so to speak, for this team. It's a play in front, and Dewis is able to redirect it in. They turn a one to four deficit to three to four. They only need one more goal to tie this up. Well, just as you were asking for a goal from Dewis, he scores for you. And now it is 4-3 with 129 left in the game. There we go. And we could possibly see a kickoff goal here based on how these teams are playing. You see Arrow with the cheat, so does Sykes. They both go up for this one. But Sykes with a nice cheat win on that allows UNC Charlotte to come and get some more boost. Here's Dewis. He's looking for a double tap, but that one's way too high. A double Ooh. commit on the play, though, from ABP. But Ludacris is able to come in. And save that one. Here's Dewis trying to stop this in front. Oh, no. Sykes, oh, no boost. Situation. And that's going to be a shot on. Arrow says, no, no, sir. He gets that goal. And now they're up by two. Yeah, that is a, a real statement goal for sure. A lot of momentum swings. And uh, ABP settles the game down. Gets the two-goal lead back. And this game, this one's been back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth between these two teams. These guys had a nice two-goal run there from UNC Charlotte. But is that over? And are they going to drop this game? We'll have to figure it out. They got one minute left on the clock. Right now, Dewis playing this one in the corner. Ludacris passing this one out, looking for Arrow. Arrow has to go back, so Ludacris plays this one here. Here's Arrow now. They try to boom this one downfield. Just wants to keep the ball over on UNC Charlotte's end, but that's going to go back to him. Ludacris finding Arrow. Arrow can't get the touch. So Ludacris looking for the ball. Center. Big Ooh. miss from Dewis. If Arrow go went up for that, that would have yeah. definitely been another goal. That Lucky that the scoreline doesn't get increased that much. That was definitely a very dangerous situation there, but it works out for him in the end. Here we go. Oh, a big bump oh. in play, but no one's able to score the goal. Dewis does so much work for the team. Comes up empty. He's looking for another shot. He's going to oh, get that one yeah. in. It's still in their hands, ladies and gentlemen. 4-1 to one with 14 seconds left, and Dewis opens it up with a big play. Yeah, as you said, 14 seconds left on the clock, and that is plenty of time for a face-off goal here, and maybe one last push. It all comes down to this kickoff. And it could go either way. You got a lot of different options here. We'll see what they try to do. Looking for a quick cheat on the play. Sykes gets that in the boost, so now Arrow has to go back, and Sykes looks to push this into the midfield. Gets in mid. Do us with a oh! shot! He's going to put it in! With six seconds left, that's a big goal for UNC Charlotte. Wow. What an absolutely brilliant play there. Just follows it up. Dewis, relentless, says, I will not let you clear that ball, and ties it up with six seconds left on the clock. Six seconds left, and they come back from a very large deficit. As both teams are trying to take the lead of the series, whoever wins this one's going to take the lead, but we'll have to figure it out as we get ready to get into overtime. Wow. 1-1 the scoreline in game number three.
or the series scored in game number three. This is the, the game <laughs> itself is 5-5. Five, five. We've had 10 goals scored in this one. And here we oh. go, Sykes. Oh, it's just so close. It's wow. just off of the bar. That would have been a heartbreaker for ABP there. Here's Dewis. Is that one going to go in? He ends yes. up just taking the clear for himself. Wow. Sending this one in. You see Sykes. He tries to go for a shot opportunity. Luke. Ludacris with the clear away, and Dewis catches it in midfield and turns it around into a goal. What a play there for UNC Charlotte as they are going to take the series lead in this one. And, man, what a game through that yeah, was. Yeah, you got to love the never say die, uh, die attitude there from UNC. Down two goals, not much time left on the clock. They find a way to tie it up, and uh, they win it in overtime. Yeah, and I mean, we got to take a minute to just, like, think of that, that comeback, right? Very yeah. impressive by them. Down one to four, and within, I want to say, the last like last half of the game, the second half of the game, they start their comeback, two back-to-back -back goals by them. You see ABP retaliate with a goal of their own, and you think that it's all over yeah. until literally we get into that last minute and UNC Charlotte come alive, send it to OT, and then just with that offensive pressure, they catch ABP out with a mistake, and they punish them for it. Yeah, I mean... You just, you thought ABP had killed it off when they got that two goal lead back, but as I said, UNC never say die. They fought back in, tied it up, and won in overtime. Yeah, and I mean, we got we got their fans in the crowd. We hear them yeah. every time they score. They got a lot of energy coming out from them and a lot of momentum to work with. And as long as they can really harness that going into it, they, they should be able to come out on top of this series. We'll see right now. We're on match point. If UNC Charlotte win this one, they're going to move on to the grand finals. But we've yeah. seen ABP come back before. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to distance. Yeah, this is going to be a very good game. You know, both teams are very mentally strong there. So I'm looking forward to a very good game. We get ready to get game number four underway, ladies and gentlemen. What a big ball sent downfield by Dewis. Here's Sykes now. Hero making sure that doesn't go off his own back wall. Big miss by Dewis. And now Sykes just trying to keep the ball in play. Dewis on his way back downfield. He sees Arrow on the side. Going to try to see if he can get it past him. Gets it past one. Ludacris back downfield. But this could be a pass oh, play. Yeah. Dewis, an easy redirect. Oh. But he misses. Oh. It's out in front. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Sykes trying to man. cover up for him. But can't do it. He almost had too much time there to think about it. Oh, yeah. He, it seems as though that was the case. He had all the time in the world. Unfortunately, he got it to his own head. Makes a big whiff on that one. But now he's going to send this one back downfield. Here's well, Sykes. You know if you're doing this, you want to make sure that you get that goal back. And he's trying to trying to see if he can get some bumps on the defense, but just not enough. Ludacris now, he picks up a 100 boost on that play. Has the ball to work with. He's going to take it slow. 0-0, zero, zero, a good flick by him. And Sykes going to drop the ball to Arrow. Arrow Ooh. looking for a shot on, but can't do it. Now, ABB, let me see if they can apply some offense. But what I have noticed from... Ad block plus his offense is that they have a lot of offensive attacks, but then suddenly they get sit put in really bad positions just from being overextended, and then we see uh, the counterattacks from UFC Charlotte. Yeah, great save there from Sykes, but as you said, they do seem to be getting caught out just a little bit there when they're pushing, so hopefully they can clean that up. Yeah, we'll see whether or not it comes back to haunt him. As we see right there, a big commit on the play. Dewis has another opportunity to score, yes. and he's going to make sure to put that one on net. First goal goes to UNC Charlotte. Yeah, makes no mistake here. As I said, he really wanted to get that goal back, and uh, he redeemed himself for sure. With 3.12 left on the clock, UNC Charlotte definitely feeling good. They keep this up. They're going to move on to the grand finals. We'll have to see here right off the kickoff. This one is a big win. Ludacris immediately oh. up a shot on net, and boom, just like that, we got the scoreline back tied up. That was a great shot there. Uh, right off the faceoff, Arrow does a nice play there, and Ludacris able to get it in, bar down, 1-1 one, one, yeah. right after. So we got a tied up score line, and just like that, that's how big these kickoff plays are in 2v2. Yeah, for sure. Kickoff and we got equalized score line. All that work that was done for the first minute, the first two minutes, means nothing at that point. Yeah. But back to an even playing field. And here's Ad Block Plus bringing this downfield. Here's Ludacris, looking to see if he can make a setup. A good save by Dewis, and Sykes is going to clear it downfield. Watch an arrow. Ooh. He's finally able to come up to make a challenge on the ball. Ludacris with the demo there on Sykes. And here's Sykes responding from that demo, able to get a nice touch in front. Ooh. Ludacris has to make a good save, and boy, here we go. Another offensive chance for UNC Charlotte, but they were not expecting the miss in front from Adblock Plus. 
been very inconsistent for both teams on offense and defense this game. So a lot of different mind games coming in. But Sykes, he might have an offensive chance on the breakaway play. He sees it come down in front. And you see Dewis sends this to Ludacris. And Ludacris with a clear out. It's not the best clear in the world. Yeah. Arrow doesn't have enough time to get back. And so then Sykes is going to send it in. Yeah, Sykes makes no mistake with that. Definitely a little bit of a mistake there. But it's 2-1 to one now with 2.16 left in the game. Here we go. Dewis sending this one in. It's a floater. He's looking for another touch, but Ludacris comes by. Sykes looking for a pass to Dewis. Dewis Ooh. says he's going to go for the defender yeah. instead. Could not get a touch on Arrow, so Arrow still in a position to make a save here. He's going to send this in front. Dewis expecting a miss this time. Comes up wrong, but at this one looks like an open net opportunity. You uh, can see Ludacris applying pressure to uh, Dewis, but Dewis wow. able to just be make sure to get in front of the ball and knock it away. Here's Sykes now trying to put a shot on net. Arrow's going to knock it way back into the UNC Charlotte end. Dewis with a soft touch in front allows Syke to get there. A good dunk by Ludacris. Now this one's going to get sent back into UNC Charlotte's end. We got one minute and 30 seconds left, and UNC Charlotte, they have the lead, but you can see ABP starting to apply a lot of offensive pressure. Yeah, for sure. They're going to want to make sure to get it out of here. Dewis, though, with a couple great defensive plays there to keep it 2-1. to one. Here's Dewis. Again, he's looking for a double touch. No. Sykes is going to try to go for a shot, but can't do it in traffic. Arrow getting into the in the way as much as he can. Ludacris oh. now with a good redirect out in front, oh, and that's going to go yeah. in. That was a great shot there. Nice little redirect. Uh, I believe it was Sykes who nearly got there, just maybe gets a piece of it, does, and it still ends up going in the back of the net. 2-2 here with one minute and nine seconds left. Yeah, one minute and nine seconds left, and then is this a big situation here? You got UNC Charlotte up 2-1 in the series. They need to score a goal if they want to close this series out. But if you look at the other way, Orange side, ABP Esports, they need to score if they want to stay alive in this tournament. Yeah. So now we're going to see who's going to come out on top. Ludacris looking for a pass in front. Arrow going to let Dewis take the save, move back, get a good position on the ball. He's going to opt to carry this one, keeping it in front of himself. But he gets dunked by Dewis. Oh. And he thought he had control of it, but he did not expect the aggressiveness from UNC Charlotte on the play. Just that slow play, he needs to be able to clear it out. But Dewis, with the challenge win, is able to come out on top of that one and get the lead. Yeah. 44 seconds left on the clock, and UNC Charlotte taking the lead. Definitely a little bit of a risky play there by Dewis, but it pays off big time as they take the lead 3-2 to two here. They're looking to extend that one as well, but can't do it. Dewis bringing that ball back in. They're trying to apply as much pressure as they can on offense. Ludacris would have clear, but it's just not enough to get it past their midfield line. Here's Arrow, keeping that on his hood. Going to get sent to Dewis. Ludacris going to turn on this. Sending it back off the backboard. Sykes with a good touch. They're going to end up missing this one. Here's Dewis now with an offensive chance. Arrow. Yeah, probably, it back. probably last push here for ABP to tie this game up. We'll have to see. Clock is ticking for these guys. Ludacris sending it out, is looking for the ball in midfield, but that one's going to clear into the corner. Like you said, they have to keep this one up. Sykes booming that downfield. Ludacris looking to see if he can control it. He keeps it on the corner. Sykes, you know, nice Ooh. challenge on the ball, just trying to clear it away from them. And boom, there's a bump from Sykes yeah, on the arrow, and the ball hits the ground, and UNC Charlotte are going to move on to the grand finals. Yeah, what a huge bump there by Sykes to keep the lead intact, and UNC wins this one 3-2. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't an easy game for them at all, especially. No. You look at, I mean, UNC Charlotte, a strong opening for them, but it did look like ABP was going to take back the series the way that game two played out. They were able to fight for game three in that overtime. I mean, 11-goal game, and then they move on and take this game number four in a very, very good fashion. So now UNC Charlotte are going to move on to the grand finals. We'll have that match coming up for you guys real quick. Don't go anywhere. This is Bull City Game Two.
down tonight I just want to feel what I feel what I feel when it's just you and me I'm falling on my knees on my knees just to see if I can still bleed cause with you I'm super human hope it's not a
Control. 